hey there townscapers and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome and thank you so much for coming today please do me a favor and hit the like button and share this video with other people if you think they would enjoy it it would help me out a lot and i would really really appreciate it so today i was on twitter and i ran into an account named moko j i hope i'm saying that right i'm not really sure how to pronounce it um but anyways they created this program called town shell and it's pretty cool it adds keyboard shortcuts and tools to manipulate and edit your builds and i just think that's very awesome um because it could be really helpful when you want to do really large builds but i'll leave the links down in the description below so you can download it and just check it out for yourself so we're gonna go ahead and talk about it there are five tools level paint dig replicate and merge so level adds extra levels of course paint allows you to change colors replicate allows you to copy and paste levels and merge allows you to combine two separate sets of blocks into one and dig which is something that I've actually been hoping for in a future update it gives you the ability to remove a certain set of blocks within a determined amount of levels and when I say like hoping for not this one tool exactly but something like a paintbrush or something to come in a future update where you could just click on a certain section and and just get rid of it and then you can just you know start over on that part and you know not have to do the constant clicking to delete everything um but yeah it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i'm really excited about it so let's go ahead and start with level and this example shows you how i made multiple levels using the tool i did this with a simple three level building i saved the code to the clipboard and i chose to add two levels of height you want to save to clipboard and then load it into the game as you can see it added two extra levels from the bottom so that's pretty cool and if you want the blocks to be brick you do have to check the plane box or it will not generate the way you want it to it'll generate stilts instead so you'll have like that empty space um you can also add extra levels in different colors so that's nice too so next we'll do replicate i started with a three level building first level was cobblestone second level is stilts and the third level is brick of course you want to add it to the clipboard and then you add your height and number of copies so I add four levels of height and three copies. So copy it to the clipboard and load it into the game. And let's see, it copied the first three levels. And so now I have 12 extra levels. So that's like 15 levels right there. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It gives you an extra leg up on building really tall structures. Um, So that's pretty cool. So next you're going to do merge. It's pretty simple. And all you have to do is take the clipboard code um, of two separate builds and paste them together into to these text fields right here and make sure to do the save button click the save button or it won't work so after you save your clipboard codes into the application click the save to clipboard button and load it into the game and now you have merged two files into one so i'm going to be playing with this a little bit and like merging like really really large files just to see what happens i think it's going to be pretty cool it might break my computer but we'll see we'll see what happens so next is the paint feature and i really love this feature because you can change the colors without having to constantly click and replace and so that's pretty awesome so with this feature you really have to keep in mind how tall or how many levels your build is and then you need to figure out if you want to recolor the whole thing or if you just want to do like a certain set of levels so for this example i'm going to use what i believe is a 24 level tall build also remember that levels are counted from the bottom of the grid so even though this build is floating in the sky and it only looks to be about 12 to 14 layers tall it's really about 24 layers because it's counting the space below so what i'm going to do is change one of the colors from levels 20 to 24. i chose these layers by using the height filter right here and then i changed the color your desired color should be chosen in the colors option and your old color should be chosen in the filters option so save the clipboard and then load it in the game and now all my tan bricks are green so i thought it was pretty cool it's really awesome um because it really takes a lot of effort out of trying to change colors if you have a lot of colors that you want to change or if you want to go to an old build and you just want to see what happens so um of course i was saving the best feature for last and that is dig so as stated earlier dig allows you to remove a certain set of blocks within a determined amount of levels you can now manipulate your builds by removing blocks just to get a different look or you can get rid of a chunk of blocks if you want to do something completely different um this will also help you out if you don't want to start a new file for a fresh grid so that's pretty cool and the way this tool works is that you can do it in percentages so on the right there is an example of what some percentages do we'll remove 10 percent 15 and 100 percent of level 16 through 24 and then we'll go ahead and remove 100 percent of all the blue box so first i want to change the percentage to 10 and then choose my layers i will pick 20 to 24. let's save this to the clipboard and load it into the game
So now you can see that it's removed 10% of the blocks within levels 20 to 24. So let's go ahead and change it to 50%. And here's what it looks like when it's at 50% removed. Uh, let's go ahead and see what it looks like with 100%. And so now all levels of 20 and 24 are gone. Let's go ahead and remove the levels above those stairs. It looks like about two or four of them. So now we have removed all of levels 16 through 24. Let's go ahead and take it a step further and remove 100% of the blue brick. You want to choose 100% and then go and pick your desired color under filter and change the height filters to the right levels. For me, those levels would be 12 through 16. So make sure you copy the original to the clipboard and then copy the settings from Townshell to your clipboard and then upload that to the game. Now I'm only left with 10 bricks on level 16 through 24 and any other blue bricks that are left are below those levels. I just think that's awesome. That's like my favorite setting in this program, honestly, that and paint. But um, that's pretty much it for this video. I think it's pretty cool how you can manipulate the levels and even the colors outside of paint with the filters in each setting. Um, even though I, I will say I need more practice with recoloring and level and replicate because it, be, it could be kind of confusing, especially if you don't click the plain option because your color won't show up and it'll just be stilts. But anyways, um, show the creator some love and download this on GitHub if you like it. Their Twitter is also down in the description. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. I can't stress that enough. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button as this will help me out a lot again thank you so much please stay safe out there and I will see you next time